Hello everyone, please request to all. Somebody uh, said to me about this video here. Uh, this guy, he called me, I think, a few years ago, I'm not sure when. And he said, uh, but he, this video is posted 2014. He said that in the video, uh, he defeated me. He defeated the author of The Deception of Allah. And I advise actually everyone to watch the video and laugh and see how the Muslims defeated me. Actually, I never, I never heard of a Muslim ever debated me, and he did not defeat me. All I'm doing, they win. There's no question about that. Uh, it's the same way they win with Israel always. The same way they win with America always. The same way they win in Afghanistan, in Iraq, uh, Hezbollah with Israel. You know, like they get, they get lose big deal, and then they celebrate victory. However, the video is there. Watch it and laugh. And you will see even the Abdul here saying that I have no proof of what I'm saying uh, except using the hadith so guys my my problem is using the words of Muhammad you see how bad it is I have no proof except using Muhammad words that's mean I have no proof I think I should use uh, uh, Michael Jackson words because Muhammad is not accepted by Muslims no more and he watch it and laugh However, this guy, he called me regarding this verse in the Quran, chapter 2, verse 178. And the whole argument is about if the word Abid means black. You see, Muslims are funny and stupid. And some people, they don't like me to say the word stupid for Muslims. No, I say stupid and I mean it. Because stupid is not an insult, it's a description. The Muslim is not really worried about how disgusting this verse is. He is worried about the meaning of a black because he's a black. Now I can prove in ton of places that Muhammad he considered black color is evil and the devil. The black dog is the devil. As you see in this hadith here. You know, uh, like. Uh, Three things will interrupt your prayer, an ass, which is black, women, and a dog, black dog, not just a dog. The guy is asking, why the black dog? What is the difference between black dog and yellow dog? The guy said, Abu Dur, he said, well, I asked the prophet the same question. He said, the black dog is a devil. So obviously, Muhammad consider anything black, and pure black, is a devil, as you see in this hadith here down too. And you can go and search like in different places. I like, don't even ch change the search word. Uh, uh, you know, go to uh, uh, let us see. Well, what about this hadith? Muhammad here, he's he's uh, he's he's been uh, illusioned, and he imagined that the devil is uh, going to attack them very soon. He was walking in a valley, and he thought something would happen. So he told the Muslim, "Get together, get together, neck to neck, row to row, because I see." I see the devil is coming in row opening in a row, just like a small black sheep. So even the sheep is a devil because it's a black. It's not only about dogs. This guy he considers every black, pure black creature is a devil, evil. So the Abdul here is debating me about the word Abid if it's mean black slave or not. But you see, if you look at the verse there, the verse is disgusting, and he should be ashamed because simply the verse saying that the one who kill a black slave, a black slave will be punished for the crime. You know, in case you do not understand what I'm saying, let us read in English, English so you can see with me, even though the translation is not real. All right. You see, in the case of in the case of murder, as you see in here in the verse 178, in the case of murder, the translation coming as slave for a slave, women for a woman, and a free for a free. What does that mean? It means if I'm a free man, I kill a free man, me, the free man, will be killed. But if I'm a free man and I kill a slave, I will, you know, you have the right to kill one of my slaves. <laughs> See how stupid it is. And later the Muslim they will say, Oh, this one is abrogated. We don't we don't follow it no more. It doesn't matter if you follow it no more or not. 
that is showing me that your prophet is racist, stupid, idiot. Because how you say free for free and slave for slave and women for women in the case of murder? So if a free man kill a slave man, the free man will not be killed. No, we will kill one of his black slaves. If a man kill a woman, he will not be killed. We will kill one of his women. Is that justice? This is a stupidity. That's why I say Islam is a stupid and whoever believes in it is a stupid. However, the argument was about the word Abid, stating that the word Abid means just a slave. And I can prove easy, uh, before we lose our time in the video, that the word really does not mean only slave. It means slave, but it's meant to be a black slave. And the word Abid came actually from slaves who they are black. Now, in order to do that, you see, I have no authority really. Uh, to, to tell you what the word mean except by going to the dictionary which is approved by Muslims this is Mu'ajam al-Sihah fi al very well known accepted by all Muslims and this is what they are saying about the word Abid or the mean of the word Abid and the, the dictionary is quoting a poetry to explain the meaning all right uh, so the poetry is saying that uh, the Abid is the one who belonged to his fathers and they are black dark skin from the people of they called the Abid. So they are called the Abid, why? Because they are dark skin. It's a name and description for those who they are black. Get my point, Abdul, the one who you claim victory, you, you idiot who do not speak Arabic. So the dictionary is saying clearly that, you know what, I'm going to take copy and take it to Google, Google Translation, which is not really good translation, but at least will give us an idea about how accurate what I'm saying. For sure, those who speak Arabic, they can read it in front of them. They do not need to copy and paste to Google. But those who do not speak Arabic, we will go here and we will translate all right and then we will find the following in the translation it says uh, the translation is not really accurate you know it's funny but anyway this is what we have we have to deal with it and sang uh, you know which means that this is the, the as i said it's a poetry which is song the most suitable slave is to, to his father actually it's not a suitable it's a, the word here is to inherit or to, 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 link, to link the slave to his fathers who they are black with their skin and their folk or their people they are called black you see it's his Abdul the fact it is Abdul yes it's Abdul but it's a black they are called black they are called Abid so there are people who they are slaves who they have black skin and they are called black Abid or in English here coming Abdul, which is funny. So when a stupid idiot, he tried to debate me, tried and saying he defeated me about that, he is just being a crazy uh, uh, Abdul. Because the dictionary is saying what I'm saying, uh, it's not the opposite. In order to prove me wrong, you have to show me what the dictionary is saying. And this is the Arab dictionary. This is a Muslim dictionary. However, if we continue to show uh, why Muhammad he hit black and to prove that Muhammad he hit black and Muhammad he considered black is uh, a color of sin a color of the evil a color of bad if you go to the hadith and the funny in, in, in his argument with me over the phone he said the only proof you have you are using the prophet hadith well obviously I should not use the prophet hadith I should use uh, maybe Michael Jackson hadith because Muslims, they don't consider Muhammad a prophet no more. I should not use his hadith. If you read in the text actually here in the comment, you will see Muslims saying that we do not know that there's many hadith are not correct. So this Christian is called Sunni hadith, not knowing the hadith was added to Islam centuries after Muhammad was dead. Well, you know what? This is actually proof to us that Islam is a stupid religion again, because if hadith is added to Islam after centuries, well, isn't the Shia have the same story and their hadith is added after centuries too? 
not only the Sunni, which is very funny hadith that the Shia they believe to. Hmm? So if the hadith is false, then how the Muslim they can even practice Islam when most 90% of Islam is based on the hadith, not in the Quran. So as you see in here, they claim that they answered me, they refuted me, but they are saying clearly, I'm using the prophet proofs. So if you answer the prophet words, you lost. You have no proofs. So what we should do? Actually, isn't it the Quran itself is a hadith? Yes, it is. The Quran says the Quran is the best of the hadith. And the Quran itself is collected the same way as the hadith. Actually, the hadith is more legitimate from the Quran. And I will say clearly why. But maybe in the coming video.